I thought I'd just give you a quick demo of how this uh, unit works. So if we plug it in, the unit uh, boots up and immediately goes into charge mode for all of the four locations. And you can see now that it's come up uh, with a standard of 200 milliamps. Uh, it's now running 197. You can see that uh, actively on each of the cells. If you want to scroll around the displays, you can see more information such as the voltage on each cell, uh, the number of milliamp hours that have been applied to the cell, and the number of hours on charge. And I think then you're back to yeah the home screen, which is just the number of milliamps being applied to the battery. If you want to change the particular mode, you can either change it using uh, this button, will change the mode for all of the batteries. So if I want to ch change from charge mode, to uh, discharge mode now, or refresh mode, or test mode. Um, you have to keep your finger on the button for a few seconds, but it will then toggle through the different modes. And as you can see, now all the batteries are actually on test rather than uh, just a simple charge. Um, if you want to change for just one single battery, then you can just press that particular cell and then change the mode of that cell. So uh, in this case now, we've left this battery on charge. These three batteries um, are on test. If you want to change the current, however, um, I think you have to uh, reboot the device. I'm not too sure why. And if you press the current button within few seconds of starting you can see that I can toggle between 200, 500 milliamps and 700 milliamps. As I say uh, with the power supply that I'm using I'm, I'm preferring not to use 700 because the chip does get pretty hot so I'm either just using the standard 200 because that looks after your batteries the best or possibly 500 milliamps if you want to charge them a little bit quicker. Anyway that's about it. Thanks very much. Bye.